Welcome to Fakin' It. I'm Cookie, and I'll be the host and person who is quietly judging your life choices. Couple quick words before we jump into the game. And it is skippable because I'm not a monster. During each round of play, each of you is going to be sent a task to your device. Like, raise your hand if you've ever farted. But one of you will get nothing. And that person is the faker. Everyone wants to figure out who the faker is, and the faker just wants to blend in. When you hear the ghost sound, you either raise your hand or not, depending on whether you've ever farted before, which you have. And the faker just has to fake it. After that, everyone votes on their device who they think the faker is. If everyone picks the correct person, the faker is caught. But here's the most important part. Fakers, if you're caught in a lie, if you raise your hand when you really should have kept it down, lie, cheat, deny, come up with whatever story you have to to throw other players off the scent. Be the faker. Some of the tasks will involve raising your hand, or pointing, or maybe making a weird face. But there will always be a faker, and you'll have three chances to catch him. Oh, one more quick suggestion before we get going. It's important to be able to see each other, so if possible, consider sitting in a semicircle or like small lines facing each other. Whatever works best while still feeling comfortable. Let's start with Hands of Truth. It's an easy one, just like we saw a minute ago. Everyone's gonna get a task that involves raising your hand. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. This was the task. Raise your hand if you have ever owned a wacky hat. Vote for the faker now. You can change your vote if you change your mind, by the way. Everyone suspects you all got together and chose the wrong person. You get two more chances to catch that faker. Sending your second Hands of Truth task to your devices now. task was, raise your hand if you've kissed someone on the first date. Vote for who you think seems like the faker. You didn't find the faker, and you didn't really learn anything definitive. One last chance to catch the faker. <laughs> Sending out your third Hands of Truth task now.
The task was, raise your hand if you're wearing panties. Vote for who you suspect is the faker. Everyone voted for... You found the faker. And not a moment too soon. Okay, time to pick the next category. Use your device to choose which type of path it's going to be. You got a point. Everyone's going to get a task that involves pointing at another player in the game. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. Ask, point at the person you think is most capable of murder. Vote for who you think is probably the faker. Sharing your theories on who you think the faker is, is the best way to catch them. The vote singled out. Well, at least you were all wrong together. You get two more chances to catch that faker. Sending out your second you got a point task to your devices now. The task was, point at someone who is probably a dog lover. Alright, vote for who you think the faker is. You couldn't agree, you couldn't find the faker. This is your last chance to catch the faker. <laughs> Sending out your third you got a point task now. task was, point at the person you'd most want your mother to make out with. And it has to be someone. Vote for who you suspect is the faker. And the prime suspect was... Ah, yes, you caught the faker. Finally. It's 
category picking time. Use your device to pick which type of tasks you'll all do together. Face value. Everyone's going to get a task that involves making some kind of facial expression. Maybe a weird one. Okay, sending the task to your devices now. was make the face you'd make while petting a kitten look for the faker now don't forget you get points for voting for the faker even if everyone else is wrong That faker is still on the loose. You get two more chances to catch that faker. <laughs> Sending out your second face value task to your devices now. This was the task. Make the face you'd have while helping your parents set up their computer. Vote for who you think seems like the faker. And everyone voted for... You all ganged up on the wrong person. Last chance to catch the faker. Sending out your third face value task now. Task, make the face you'd have if you won the lottery. Vote for who you think is probably the faker. You couldn't even bother to try to pick the same person on the final task, huh? You pretty much just let the faker have it. Okay, it's time for the last round. Text 
you up. I've sent three questions to each of your devices. Type in your answers for all three and then hit send. Now the faker has three questions to answer too. They just have slightly different questions than everyone else. So good luck, faker. Time's almost up. Hit send now. Let's see everyone's answers to the first text task. A color that describes your mood right now. Vote for who you suspect is the faker. Not enough teamwork to find the faker. You get two more chances to catch that faker. Let's see your second batch of answers. A TV show that's bad, but you love it anyway. Look for the faker now. All the votes went to... Collectively, you all made the wrong choice. One last chance to catch the faker. Here are your third and final set of text answers. The movie you'd watch to help you get romantic. Vote for who you think seems like the faker. And the votes were for... Group Mind steered you in the wrong direction. Thank you.